والله يدعو الى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم Uh, good clarification. Uh, somebody who couldn't fast for two Ramadans in a row uh, due to being uh, having a child and also breastfeeding, um, do they fall within that ayah, Sheikh? Are they allowed uh, to give compensation, feed the poor, or do they have to make up these fasts? When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and those of you are sick, فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ A travel, a sick or travelers, mm-hmm. فَعِدَّةٌ مِّنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخَرْ They should make it up. Mm-hmm. That is the original ruling for people who can still afford to make it up. But if somebody was, is sick permanently or ill for good, yani is chronically ill mm-hmm. with a disease that it is not expected, لا يرجى منه بر, it's not expected to heal next year or the year after. In this condition, they undergo the second ruling, which is وَعَلَى الَّذِينَ يُطِيقُونَهُ فِدْيَةٌ طَعَامُ مسكين. So the fidya, which is feeding one poor or miskin person per each day, is prescribed for elders who even if they fast, they find it very difficult. Or uh, men or women who are chronically ill are not expected uh, to heal. So that is uh, number one. Number two, there is another uh, uh, ruling here, which is, what if a person was sick or traveling and did not get to make up the missed days of Ramadan, throughout this year until there is another Ramadan and there is another Ramadan. Al-Jumhur, based on a hadith which is maqoof, narrated by Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, they should do both. They should do the qada and the kafara. They should offer the fidya for postponing the fasting for another term after another Ramadan. And they should still make it up because they're healthy and they're resident. They can still make it up. So there is a combination between both of them. Opposed to this opinion is the opinion of Imam Abu Hanifa and said there is no such thing to combine between Al-Qada or Al-Kafara. It's either one of them. So if you are eligible uh, for Al-Kafara, if you're chronically ill or elder and are not expected to recover, then you're eligible to give the Kafara or the Fidya, feeding one miskin per each day that you cannot fast during Ramadan and you don't owe any fasting. And if you are sick, temporarily or for some time then you recover then you must make it up the same number of days which you did not fast during Ramadan